damage for each shell hit, and you know, receiving the be it you know like 1,030 damage or you know for an ogre pin or a full pin or a citadel hit. That's what actually gives you your exp. But because Wargaming keeps the numbers kind of locked up and they're not available to the public, we can only get like a rough estimate for the values for each action that we do in the game. And I think that's where everybody kind of gets like things twisted. Everything we're talking about today is kind of an estimated value. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, I've been playing first person shooters like half my life. Uh, getting kills, frags, whatever you want to call them. They have always been the focus for me instead of just outputting the most amount of damage that I can actually do. And World of Warships is kind of different. You want to do the maximum amount of damage that you can, things to actually you know help out your team in a team game would be uh, very good to do. Uh, so you know, playing for the objective, spotting, uh, defending bases, you know, decapping points, capping points. Those are awarded more than just kills, even though kills are important. You know, the 